So, what to start with? Well, um, let's start with one of these, as it's not long been Easter. This looks like a Cadbury's mini eggs. Um, it looks like it would be an egg that may have caught some kind of virus if it were a real egg, judging by those spots, but like inks, man. Let's just check. Uh, this is either a Cadbury's mini egg or like a Tesco's version. Because um, I think what you'll find is sometimes they have the brands and sometimes they have their own make. Because I noticed they had something like that was basically looked like Rolos, but I think they called it caramel cups or something. Their own version, basically. Let's try this and check. Mm hmm. Yep. I think that's fair to say it's a mini egg and very nice it is too. Now it's tasting a bit different to the cabbage mini egg. I don't think it's a cabbage mini egg. It's um the chocolate's nice, but it's not quite as nice as Cadbury's. Not as nice as a Cadbury's mini eggs. Um it tastes more like it tastes a lot like calendar chocolate, you know, Christmas calendar chocolate. Which for the calendars is is not a bad thing. I like that taste. But with these, you just notice how it's not as nice. As a Cadbury's one, yeah, no, it's not so nice unless they've gone a bit stale. It's the only thing I sometimes worry about a pick and mix because then it seems like a neglected area in supermarkets and shops, and <laughs> where how if anything goes a bit stale sometimes because that's almost got a stale taste. But mm, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe they're just not as nice. Right now, these are these called jazz jazzies, jazzers or something. They're something jazzy, aren't they? Um, I've done my research on these, but I think they're jazzies. I'm not, I swear they're called jazzies, aren't they? Yeah, you get various. This is a more round one than I remember. I remember them being more like uneven circles. But it should taste white chocolatey, and well, I'll be worried if it doesn't because that's clearly white white chocolate. And um, hundred and thousand e. Let's see. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. These are one of my favourite always. I've got as many of these as I could get away with in a pick and mix without security guard giving me strange looks. Now it's very nice and it tastes how I remember it. It's that sort of, you know that yellowy white chocolate which is not like really creamy white chocolate but it's, it's, it's not really like the milky bar but it's that more type of, I guess a bit more artificial white chocolate but it's still nice. That's not the nicest jazzy, if that's what they're called, that I've tried. Somehow sounds rude, I don't know why because it's generally not rude. This is more about my mind, but that is not the nicest jazzy that I've tried, but it's it's decent. Again, I'm just wondering if it's because they're a little bit stale. Now, I got these last night and kept them in a cupboard, like a dry cupboard, so um, <laughs> is there any other type of cupboard full of water? You know what I mean. So, um, I, I, I don't think that should have affected it. I just got this, this feeling that they're a tiny bit stale. It's either they're a tiny bit stale or Tesco's Pick and Mix is just not as good as um, you know, like the big branded ones, which may well be the case. But considering it's not the cheap, I mean, it weren't expensive. I think as I got quite a lot here for three pound, but it also weren't cheap. It's somewhere in the middle. It's, it's almost, it's not stale, but yeah, there's just the taste isn't quite as good as I've had before. But there we go. Now I've not had a pick and mix in years, so it it, it will be nice to try again. Um, I actually just decided to do this because yesterday I had a real craving for something sweet after having it. I had a KFC actually and uh, they had no sweet treats, you know, um, you know, they have, you know, um, they have those cookies, don't they, cookie and coffee, you can have, they had nothing like that, I think it's because they're still having trouble with their suppliers at my local one, there was no lettuce for the burger, um, I had the uh, burger and there was no lettuce for it, which I said is not really a deal breaker, I didn't come to KFC for lettuce, oh, I can just survive without lettuce. Um, but yeah, there. I you know, as much as I had like a big meal there, I was still hungry after. I find it with KFC sometimes. So I, I, I was after some like cakes or something. It was a bit late to start making one, so I thought, oh, maybe I get a muffin in, in um, Tesco's. But when I got there, they have like the fresh bakery bit. This annoys me actually, and I almost said something about one is cause a scene because I just find it really annoying. They were chucking out. This was only. I think just gone eight o'clock and they were chucking out, you know their fresh bakery muffins and stuff, they were putting them into a bin bag, obviously gonna waste them off and I thought, that's such a waste, even if they weren't at their freshness, they should have just marked them down. I know they you know, they could have just marked them down. I would I almost said like I would have had them rather than throw them away. And they'll probably say, uh, terms and conditions say that we cannot allow that you to have them because I've worked at a supermarket and I know the kind of things they say to get out of that kind of thing, but and they'd rather waste it, and I don't agree with that. That was uh, horrible to see all those cakes going to waste. Um, so I didn't get a cake. Um, instead, I thought I'll get some chocolate, and then after I saw the pick and mix, I thought, 
I'll have some pick a mix. But I'll eat that tomorrow. And now it's tomorrow. And now you're back up to date. Right. This is a mouse. Uh, not a real one. It's a pink one. Um, you can probably get some websites on it. Maybe not. Right. I don't think I've had a pink one. Now these aren't the sugar. Do you remember those sugar mice? I haven't had them for ages. Do they still do them in. I was going to say in a penny sweet shop. Uh, you know in the corner shops with pen penny sh sweets. They're no longer pennies of course. Some might show my age now. They're about £9.50 each probably. Um, but they used to have these sugar mice and they were like very sugary but they were nice. These I believe are white chocolate mice. But I don't normally have a pink one. Let's see what it's like. Mmm. It's got a hint of strawberry. I wasn't expecting that. I should have probably thought that's why it's pink. That's nice. It's um... It's nice, it's it's white chocolatey, it's strawberry. Strawberry comes through quite nicely. It goes really well with white chocolate. Yeah, again, which I think I'm going to end up saying for all of these sweets. I don't think they are stale, I think it is just, they're not as good as other brands I've had of these in the past. So I've not had a pick and mix like this for absolutely years. You know, I actually got a pick and mix like this. I have had some of the various individual sweets. You know they do those little packets in supermarkets like Asda, Tesco, sort of like 30p and you get like some of the mice or you get some of the jazzies and that kind of thing. So I've had them not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm searching for a white mice mm. and I'm assuming, you know, isn't he cute? I'm assuming uncomfortable though because he look. He's actually more of the, I know this is where they obviously get their name from but he's literally like more of a shape of a computer mice because look how like smooth he is on the back on the bottom like there's his tail there's his ears he's got no arms though they've kind of like been molded inside him i always wonder why they chose to do them as mice because you don't really want to think about eating mice do you but no no chocolate right so i'm assuming this is non-strawberry hmm just like the other one, we've had the strawberry taste. Very nice. Right. And we've had a jazzy, so I'm going to save that for later. Mm, there he is. A fried egg. Now, this is a yellow one. The ones I saw in the pick mix, I swear, were orange. The yolk was orange. Maybe they had both, or maybe I just dreamt that part. I can't remember. Too hard to tell now. Let's see what this tastes like. These could be Harry Bow ones, even. You never know. Yep, soft white foam, um, a little bit fizzy. Did oh, these used to be fizzy? I don't think they were. Nice tasting uh, um, marshmallow kind of thing on the sort of foamy type mellow or mellow, 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 I don't know. Barry Manilow, nice tasting Barry Manilow on the bottom. And it's got that little fizz, that little tang. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a fried egg at all, as you'd expect. But. It's very, very nice. Now, cables. Now, these usually have... I know, these look a bit different. There's ones that have more of a um, softer centre. These look like they're harder. So, I think this is going to be quite chewy and possibly taste of raspberry. Let's see. Mmm. It's very... Uh, I think, oh, is this raspberry or strawberry? Um... It does have a bit of that softy, soft powdery bit they usually have inside, actually. Why can't I work out that strawberry or raspberry? Mm -hmm. Raspberry, I think. It's like cross between both. Sometimes with sweets, it's hard to tell. It's nice, don't get me wrong. Really nice, actually. Yeah, I like this a lot. Oh, there's something just nice about eating pick mix. I'm going to have such a sugar rush, and I'm about to start work soon, so <laughs> I'll use the sugar wisely, hopefully. I know this isn't interesting hearing me eat and drink. Well, I'm not drinking, actually. Mm. Unless you want to buy me a beer, feel free. But, you know, just put it out there. If someone's interested, they're interested. It's no biggie. Although if I actually get more subscribers and more views, I could actually earn ad revenue. Now we've got the blackberries. Oh, got two stuck together there. And is there a 
Raspberry. No, that won't be a raspberry. That would be um. What's it? No, or is it a raspberry? It might be a raspberry. Let's taste it and find out. I was thinking like red currant or something. I'm not sure. 